I ain't even gonna lie. I'm getting ready for church right now. I have to talk about this. Dear God, thank you for bringing me aside to the decision to trade OG and the Kobe. Okay, thank you, God. I love you. Appreciate you. Amen. OG Ananobi has been traded to the New York Knicks for RJ Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, and draft considerations. And I think the full package is OG and Precious. Oh my gosh. This is the first time Masai has made, because I was going to make a video. I was going to make a video about the Raptors saying, um, like a letter to Masai Jury. I was going to say, Masai, please do something. Like trade Siakam, trade OG, trade something. Because the way we are right now, we're stuck barely out of the play-in, mediocre, with stars on our team, good players on our team who we could flip for good, like, young pieces and draft picks. And OG, he's 27. He's not very young. He's probably already, like, I'm not going to say he's reached his prime, but he's already been good for years. So people will know how good he is, and he could be a valuable piece on a contending team. We're not a contending team. The Knicks, however, I mean, they're not exactly contenders, but they're a good team. Now you said OG to the Knicks. Oh my goodness. We get RJ. First of all, I just have to ha talk about how happy I am as a Raptors fan. How happy I am. Because I've been wanting them to do something for way too long. It has been way too long. With the Raptors being stuck at this one spot of being mediocre. Because... 2020, they were good. Kyle Lowry was still there. Siakam, Van Vliet, um, Gasol, Ibaka, Powell, uh, all of those guys. We still had a really good team in 2020, but we lost in the second round in a seven-game series to the Celtics that most NBA fans forget. It was a two-point game in that game seven. We were this close to making the conference finals, and then who knows what happens if we face the Heat? Because the Celtics took the Heat to seven, and we took the Celtics to seven. So, you never know what happens. But... Um, then after that, it was the disappointing year. Siakam wasn't good. Kyle Lowry got traded. Powell got traded. And we had to reset. We got Scotty Barnes next year, make the playoffs, losing the first round in six games to the Sixers. But still, things were looking up. Then last year, things went back down. OG was playing amazing. Siakam and Van Vliet were playing pretty well. Siakam was made an all-star game, and Van Vliet also made an all-star game in 2022 that I didn't mention, but you know what I'm saying? Those two are still playing good. Scotty not doing as good as his rookie year, but still doing okay. And the team is still overall decent. We just weren't good enough. We missed free throws, didn't have any good shooters, didn't really have a reliable point guard because Fred Van Vliet was inconsistent and inefficient, but he was our only real shooter at the time, so that's all we really had. And I didn't even mention Gary Trent Jr., who is still on the team, not having a great season this year, but oh my goodness, finally, we made a move. I wanted them to, I wanted the Raptors, if you watched my other videos, I watched, I wanted the Raptors to trade Siakam from, I don't even know when, from a long time ago. And now here we are, in tw in the, right at the end of 2023, they finally traded OG Ananobi. And with OG and Anobi out the door, the only piece left from that 2019 championship is Pascal Siakam. And I'm not saying that Pascal Siakam is going to get traded, but I have a feeling Pascal Siakam is going to get traded. Because if you trade Siakam, I see, I have watched some Raptors games. I haven't watched every single Raptors game because I've been very busy over the past month, few months or so, but... I have watched some Raptors games, and I can see that Scotty and Siakam do work together decently well, but Dennis Schroeder has also been really good, and Jakob Pertl and Dennis are like a nice little duo that they got going on. Scotty's still there. He's doing his thing, and Siakam will come through and give you 20 to 30 on some nights, but oh my goodness, I just, OG is gone. OG is gone. And I didn't even talk about what we got back. <laughs> Sorry, I just been, I was just going crazy for the past like five minutes. I have to bring it, bring the energy back down, and actually think logically about this. So, the full trade, as far as I know right now, OG Precious for RJ, Emmanuel Quigley, and some draft picks. 
And let me talk about it from the Raptors side of things, obviously, because the Raptors are my favorite team. So of course I'm gonna talk about it that way. We lose OG and OG is a good player, but I don't want good players right now. OG could be a good piece for another team. RJ Barrett is younger. He's probably a better scorer than OG. And he doesn't have the defense of OG, but he still has, he still is a pretty decent defender. He's not exactly a liability on the defensive end. So overall, it's not like we're losing that much. And then when you look at Emmanuel quickly, he's, when I saw his name, that made me even happier because if it was just OG for RJ, I'd be like, okay, whatever. OG for RJ and Emmanuel quickly, like six man of the year last year candidate, Emmanuel quickly. We need scoring, we need shooting, and we brought in Emmanuel quickly. I mean, how am I not supposed to be excited? Now, what I would do in the Raptors situation, because we got rid of OG, we got rid of Precious. Precious is good that we got rid of him because we already had a lot of bigs in the first place. We had Yaka Pertl, Chris Boucher, Precious, Siakam, Coloco. We had a lot going on in their position. Now we got rid of um, um, Achua, Precious. We got rid of him. And now we can bring in, now we can hopefully, if in, in the Raptors situation right now, what I would do, trade Siakam and trade Malachi Flynn, put those two in a package and get one more young piece or some picks or something, trade him somewhere. Because there's a lot of teams out there that could use a guy like Pascal Siakam, like um, <clears throat> the Atlanta Hawks. I'm just saying, the option is there. Pascal Siakam is a great player, all-star caliber player, and trading him to the Hawks would be ideal because then we get back what, a package of, I mean, I'll take anything from the Hawks. Honestly, like as long as it's, we don't get back Clint Capella or DeJounte Murray, I mean, still I take those guys, but like we want to trade Siaka for young pieces. I would take DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre Hunter hasn't been great this season. They're not trading Jalen Johnson because he's been too good, but I would take a lot of guys from the Hawks team. I would take anybody from anywhere, honestly, because I just want this team to make some moves because it hasn't been very good. It's just been in that middle tier for the past like five years now. And no, not five years, like three years now. So we, we want to level up from that. Not four years. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my goodness. Anyways, from the Knicks side of things, this is also a really good trade for the Knicks. I mean, I've already seen some people saying the Knicks got fleeced, but RJ overall, the Knicks fans weren't loving him. And he was doing decent some days. He would be good some days, bad some days. But overall, he's a good player. It's just... Bringing in OG, I think, definitely helps the Knicks out a lot more because OG is a better player than RJ Barrett. He doesn't have the offensive upside, in my opinion, of RJ, but he does have the defense that even exceeds RJ's defense. Like his, de He's one of the best perimeter defense defenders in the league. There's a reason OG was so valued last year and people were throwing out trades. Like People were saying that there was even offers that with OG for Dane. OG and like some other pieces for Dame. So that's how valuable OG was last year. And that shows how good of a player he is. And now you bring him to this Knicks team, already you got Julius Randle, you got Jalen Brunson, you got Mitchell Robinson, you got Josh Hart, you got a good team. Yeah? So OG already brings a lot to the day with his Knicks team. And with OG on the Knicks, I mean, it's not a big three, of course, but it just makes them a better team. You got RJ and Julius Randle. No, wait, no, not RJ. <clears throat> you got Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle as the two stars, of course. And now they got this defensively centered team around them. Like, it's looking kind of nice. I can't lie to you. So the Knicks are looking good after this trade. Of course, I still love this trade for the Raptors. So overall, I'll give out I'll give trade grades. Why not? The Raptors, in my opinion, get an A purely just because they made a move. And I mean, it could be just like, bias because i want the raptors to make a move and maybe i'm just like seeing it through what's it called the the rose colored shades or whatever they call them but man the for the for the raptors i love this i love this especially because the emmanuel quickly part like rj is good but emmanuel quickly just adds to it and they're both younger than og too which makes you even happier because then rj is scotty man i'm excited
And then you got the Nick side of thing. I'm just, oh, let me clarify. This is it. The, the trades aren't over for the Raptors. Siakam's next. Siakam and Malachi Flynn, they gotta go. Malachi Flynn ain't bad, but he's not good. <laughs> so Malachi Flynn and Siakam, they're the next two out the door. Okay, especially if we got Schroeder and Quickly now, we can run Quickly off the bench at the one, and I'm happy with that. Because then we got a starting lineup, Schroeder, and this is just discounting whatever you get back in a, in a potential Siakam deal. You got Schroeder, you got Scotty, RJ, of course it depends on what you get back from the, the Siakam deal, but Pirtle, Quickly, Gary, Trent, um, that's all you really, honestly, this team isn't expected to be good. This is a rebuilding team. And if they can get some picks in this draft, and then Masai does his thing, and then we, I'm just saying, the future is looking nice for me as a Raptors fan. But from the Knicks side of things, I would definitely give this trade a solid, a solid B plus on it. Maybe even an A minus. The draft picks, how many draft picks and all that stuff does concern me, but, um, I think overall this is a W trade for the Knicks, so I think I'll give them a solid B plus, A minus, A minus, I'll give it A minus, because OG is really good, and if you bring this team where he's just there to do his role, hit some threes, because Randall and Jalen Brunson are going to attract a lot of attention, which leaves him open a good amount of the time to hit threes, and of course the defense is already there, you already expect to get that from him. So I see this as an A- minus trade for the Knicks. I'd still say that the Raptors won the trade, but it's a W for both teams. So neither team loses. And wow, oh my goodness. The funny thing about this, this is like a nice little way to end the video. I text, my dad is also a huge Raptors fan and I was talking to him about this and he was, I sent him the picture and he was like, no! It was <laughs> A lot of Raptors fans love OG, and I love OG too, don't get me wrong. I love DeRozan, I love OG, I love Lowry. But all three of those trades, except Lowry, that, that one kind of sucked. But all three of those trades made me happy in some way. In the end, they were the best things for our team to do. DeRozan traded him, got a ring. Terrence Ross was one of my favorite Raptors players of all time. We traded him, got Serge Ibaka, he helped us win a ring. Um, Kyle Lowry, my favorite player of all time, traded him. Things didn't get much better after that. Norman Powell traded him. Things didn't get much, much better after that either. But you feel me? Some trades you gotta do, cause that Raptors score, Norman Powell, Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet, Siakam, OG, DeRozan. Um, did I say Van Vliet? I don't know. But that, Terrence Ross, that whole core was the core I grew up watching. And I love to see them play together. But sometimes, we got to get out of mediocrity and it was their time to go it is what it is and siakam's next i'm trying to bring up i want the raptors to bring in this new young core with scotty with with um grady i didn't even mention him i want grady to get more minutes after this trade because the wing they traded away a wing and a forward and grady's gonna be playing the wing position so if grady can get some minutes man, i'm not complaining so Oh yeah, I didn't even mention Jalen McDaniels. Is it Jaden or Jalen? One of the McDaniels, he's playing for our team and he was actually doing pretty good against the Celtics. He scored like 13 points in the fourth quarter alone, which is actually pretty impressive. So if he can get some minutes too, I mean, I'm not complaining about that either. I don't have big, big expectations for him, but like, this is just talking, just turning to me rambling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the video now. Thank you for watching. I'm happy as a Raptors fan. This is an absolute win.